G'day everyone, Angela Ramora here from Ohio Cashflow. I hope you're all well, your favorite Australian, and the real estate dingo bringing you the yellow ladder tip of the day. Firstly, I want to start off with this. If you want one of these boomerangs, send us a message through www.ohiocashflow.com. We'll send you one in the mail. Make sure to take a selfie of yourself in the boomerang and post it on social media and you have to tag us, alrighty? Now, today's tip of the day is this. I'm not sure if many of you know, but we've actually just sent a post on Facebook that Ohio Cashflow is entering the commercial market arena. That is right, you heard it. We will be offering now turnkey commercial properties to investors, okay? So what I wanna to chat to you about today is this, the difference of single family homes versus commercial, okay? Now the biggest difference um, with single family homes to commercial is this, in my opinion, okay? With single family homes, the landlord has to look after all of the expenses, uh, sorry, the maintenance themselves, and most of the expenses, okay? While in commercial real estate, so if you own a little strip mall, okay, the tenants, which will be the shops or whoever it may be, they have to look after all of the repairs, the interior fit out, um, the lawn mowing, the snow plowing, and all that jazz. You, as the landlord, only have to look after your insurance and your property taxes. So those are the two key big differences. Um, another thing is that when you get a tenant in one of your commercial properties, because it's a business and because they've got their own personal branding, and for example, they've established a set location where their customers are used to seeing them in that one spot, they will most likely stay longer than a single family home tenant would. Now, don't get me wrong, I still love single family homes, but the bigger picture of a higher cash flow and what we um, pitch to all of our investors is this, once you build a large substantial portfolio of single family homes, you should look at transitioning or diversifying into, into um, commercial or multifamily. So instead of earning 10, 15 single family homes, how about earning one commercial or one multifamily complex? How about that everyone? Okay, so remember, boomerangs, Send us a message, www.ohiocashflow.com. If you want more information about us, you can also find it out at that website. Follow us on social media. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm Angela Ramora, your favorite Australian and the real estate thing guy. Have a great day. G'day everyone, Angela Ramora here from Ohio Cashflow. I hope you're well, your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. Bringing you the yellow ladder. Tip of the day. Yay. <laughs> what we're discussing today is this. Ohio cash flow has entered the commercial market arena. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, okay, you could cut that one.